All right, so what I'm liking is this is extremely heavy and these bolts and everything are crazy hardcore strong. Um, yeah, it's, this should last a long time. I know they make them for riding mowers and uh, big equipment and it's the same concept. This is just a smaller version. So it makes sense that they're using some industrial uh, equipment here. So we're gonna have to give it a spin. All right, so I'm impressed. The stripes are looking great and the build quality is really good. Installation would have been a tiny bit easier if I had uh, more tools. I'm the type of guy who gets a kit of tools and then loses half the pieces. So I had to keep looking for something else that would fit, but man, look at that. What a really good job. It's not even sunny out, so I'm surprised at how well it's striping. Um, yeah.
Now the lawn didn't actually need to be mowed, so I'm not doing the whole lawn right now, but that <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, I do think it's interesting. A lot of people ask about striping kits and backing up. Um, because this is so solid, there's no uh, give at all. And when you turn, the wheels turn at different rates, so that way um, it just turns easy. You'll probably be thinking, oh, I could build one of these at home. Um, I did think about that. I almost tried to copy the design, but when I looked into the materials of it, um, it would cost the same, if not more. So buying it as a kit made a lot more sense. And uh, the quality, I'm, I'm really impressed with the quality. Um, I'll go into comparisons with my DIY one and the Toro one some other time, but right now I'm just talking about this one. And, I'd say if you got this, you'd be happy with it. So, pretty cool. Alright, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun, making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.